Greetings ladies and gentlemen and those who've been watching my videos, welcome back to the gameplay of Eliza. Apparently this game has been vanished from my Steam discussion page because it turns out I probably haven't played this game for two weeks now and plus probably. So it's real time to wrap this game for sure and such. I assume I'm gonna be I'm gonna pretty much at the end of this video uh, probably after did I predict this before I kind of forgot maybe for the next three episodes I guess so probably episode 30 will be my last episode in this one but I'm just really predicting because I feel like we're just just getting much nearer to the conclusion now uh, last episode we discovered Eliza's transparency mode, and apparently the crowd here, the crowd turns here are gone and such. It's quite handy. Maybe not really, because it's gonna make the place a little bit unlifely there, but whatever. Uh, either way. Yeah, transparency mode, that was crazy. Apparently some of these guys were volunteered to be included into the transparency mode and Eliza was for uh, Evelyn for some reason was specified to handle one of the cases despite her actually still at the lower level of proxy it should be unlocked at level 50 as Ray Bukhari would say but no Evelyn gets the special treatment from a dear Lord Reina Sai yeah either way yeah what else I kind of forgot I haven't really watched a uh, previous episodes run. Oh yeah, Erland's. Erland's heart goes to the AI going to get abused by this, well, allegedly abused by these workers to, to their data is going to be likely leaked for testing and yeah, that's going to be the racing concern that this game is currently having so yeah, so far it's been right. Interestingly, and now we're getting a text from Ray Buhari or something like that. I probably kind of watched that spelling bit. I'm sorry, but yes, time to go. How'd your first time spending mode go? I was going to ask after you finished, but I didn't see you in the office. I had to duck out right after. We're gonna go to the what's the word? Uh, a fashion mode first instead of going to that it went fine moment because it went far mentions that it can have different meanings between others so I have to sign my phone first get straight to this one sorry it's been three minutes and I'm still rambling that's like there's nothing to talk about else and such I had the dog of raptor sorry consider it of Evelyn no problem there weren't a lot of questions yeah, not much probing into the information, but <laughs> apparently Evelyn's expecting there will be more, like a long list of surveys. I mean, yeah, more questions means that uh, we will take the clients more, but apparently not really, yeah. Yeah, for whatever reason, it's always very terse. Wait, is that test? Oh, terse. Terse. Oh dear. That's quite a first time I've seen that term be used. And the question is already short. I thought maybe you could tell me why. The feature came after my time, so I'm not sure. Yeah. If I were to take a guess, Eliza only leads human confirmation to make sure it hasn't messed up. Huh. Oh yeah, because... <laughs> The system doesn't understand human jokes, so <laughs> yeah. Uh, maybe not jokes, just uh, that one particular analogy is what I mean. Yeah, <laughs> they don't understand it at all. But then, yeah, that's what AI is at recent times for sure. Huh. Makes me wonder if there is actually AI designed for jo to understand jokes. That'd be interesting. It doesn't need human confirmation to make sure it hasn't messed up. It's like it already knows it has the right answers. Hmm. So like, I'm not entirely sure how many... 
parts that Rainer um, give a little bit of uh, his touch after Evelyn left and the old team as well, but yeah, uh, but then she did mention that the feature came after her time. So I think Rainer and his programmers was the one to add this feature, so. Oh yeah, wait, he probably did. I mean, Erwin gave his concern on that one, so. This is gonna be rather concerning as it gets used by the company for their own goods, perhaps. Which would make it rather advanced as a system. Oh yeah, it is. I don't know or of any other program capable of something like that. Uh, I would like to know if there is actually really nothing that can compete Eliza and fiction and non-fiction so far. Maybe Rainer is right. About what? Oh, he's very uh, upbeat. About Eliza's capacity to understand humans and act like them. He is. I'm not sure I believe that, but I guess it is impressive in some ways. Oh. She's looking up at Rainer at that case. Interesting. Yeah, it is. I feel lucky. Lucky that I get to be here and witness this revolution. And lucky I get to meet you too. I really enjoyed your company on the, the other night. Hmm. Picking really is <laughs> I don't think I was gonna be the time. I had the time to do that. Mm. I really enjoyed your company the other night. Thanks for having me. Of course. Maybe you can come over again sometime. Get around see you soon. Hmm. I could stand to wear something with a little color in it. <laughs> she probably should think about it. Oh, the sign. She can read that, but then is she not Aubrey? Right, right. She likely knows the uh, writings in it, like kanji or so. I look it up. Komorebi means the light filtering through leaves. That's Komorebi. Something you can see when the sun is out. Ooh, that's fancy. Really fancy. He asked for Erlen's name and brought Aaron. <laughs> he should ask his customers to spell their names. <laughs> they really should. Ah, uh, I guess that's it. I really don't need uh, much more of the solitary games. I just, since I've completed it. I really like the pixel animations in this game, man. Pixel animations are just overall fairly underrated, I think. But I'm glad that some games recently uh, tends to uh, pick up uh, pixel styles in their uh, games, which just makes it like even more appreciated to be seen. Turner's place. I find what looks like one of the Capitol Hill's older buildings. I wonder how much longer it'll be around. Lately, it feels like everything's being replaced. Oh no. Hey! Oh, sorry about the mess. <laughs> being techy and such, that's normal, right? Also, that's a Russian typing that I'm not familiar with what it means. It's a little messy, but not in a careless way. Yep. They're still alright, like, no tumbling cables and such. Just scattered. 
Lots of electronics everywhere. Oh, it's fine. Not like my place is super clean or anything. Oh, Evelyn. Is this all music equipment? Most of it. There are some controllers I was working on, too. I wanted to create this real-time control apparatus. You know, like that thing that Imogen Heap uses? Imagine heaps. Wait, sorry, I'm gonna have to raise my microphone a bit just in case it gets a little bit smaller than I anticipated. Imogen Hill. I'm actually rather familiar with that name, but that's not to say that I'm actually really familiar on what they do. Okay, I'm totally going to show you some videos later. <laughs> I really don't, that's why. I wanted my version to react to changes in my body temperature too, so it could get more excited as the set went on. Oh, okay. Or maybe it would really get going if I had a fever. <laughs> oh. Ah, I like that idea. Turning sickness into art. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh god. And it's to make yourself more productive, eh? Do you want anything to drink? Or I could set up a basic patch on the Euro rack for you to play around with? Euro rack? Hmm. A basic patch on the Euro rack. Are you nervous? <laughs> Maybe. I think the best way to learn music is just diving in, all the way. Oh boy, I don't think I'm ready, but we'll see, I guess. If you're willing to experiment and play around, you will learn so much. I'm really here to visit with you, maybe later, yeah. Maybe later, yeah. Okay, well sure. Let me see if this amp is still working. After the show, it went kind of a little strange. Oh? No starts to tinker with some of the equipment. Music technology is just like any other kind. You take the inputs and you translate them to the outputs. Oh yeah, absolutely. It's like an uh, audio editing and such. I think I'm putting it pretty much more or less the same way. Except of course with music you do play around with tunes. Once you learn the basic principles, it all just flows from there. Hmm. I mean, I remember that I used to like fiddle a bit with uh, FL Studio, but then I ended up just quitting because I didn't understand the basics of it. Maybe I should go back to it if I can, but then... Yeah, maybe I think big maybe. Oh, that gives me an idea. You could take metrics from Eliza Sessions and have them direct a dynamic music score. What? <laughs> no way. No way. But I kind of like Nora's thinking here. Sending everything into music? That'll be neat. Like if you took the head tilt value or the eye tracking and used them to drive the parameters of pitch and filter? She's totally going geeky on this. You'd be like, it's just a chow! It's just a chow! Hmm. Oh, okay. Oh, oh my god. Oh, Nora. This sweet little thing. <laughs> that doesn't sound like something a counseling client might want to hear. <laughs> oh my god. One of these kinds of conversation that makes you like just want to cry for happiness is just so funny. Oh no, I didn't mean for the client to listen to. <laughs> I meant it more like uh, if you were going to make like a performance art piece based on a person in counseling. You know what I mean? I know. But it's quite something else for me to think about for that though. Like quite some directions you're going there, Nora. 
Do I? <laughs> um, I think I do. <laughs> she totally doesn't get it. Ugh, I miss having access to those cameras and sensors. I should have kept some instead of returning them to Skanta like a good girl. Aww. I bet those components would have enjoyed being liberated for the purpose of art. <laughs> Instead of being used to degrade our humanity one little bit at a time. And here we go. You don't like where things have gone? Time to get serious. I'm worried, Evelyn. Sure, maybe this huge database of people's deep, dark secrets is going to be used 100% properly. Maybe it will always be kept completely safe, and we can completely trust Skanda to do the right thing, now and in the future. Oh, I love this music. Ten years from now, twenty years from now, a hundred years from now. But there's something that you can't guarantee from them doing so, right? Sorry, I know you still might work there. I just have so little confidence in these big tech companies right now. They act like they have all the answers, instead of listening to people's concerns. And if you ask them why they aren't listening, they can't even explain the reasoning in a clear way. They just want to win. been a proxy for a while. I bet you've already seen some privacy mistakes. Yeah, just now probably. Or at least some things that made you think. doesn't get that he might not be allowed to do certain things. Is that really the future you want to help build? It's, it's not even that I don't trust Rainer, even though I don't. I wouldn't trust anyone with a store of data like that. It wouldn't be so difficult for employers, government, anyone to combine different sources together and eventually learn everything about you. Yeah. She's right. Everything. It's kind of scary to think about, especially with, you know, what country being particularly supervised 100%. It's scary to think about. They'll know your face, your body, your medical history, and now everything you told the counselor in private, too. Mm. It's kind of like a nightmare to imagine it. That's why I left. That's why I thought it was important for me to stop making a contribution to something like that. But then, like, if we're not the one to stop this, then... Who will? No one? And then we just all gonna be left out with our privacy bre to be breached like that? Voluntarily? Involuntarily, rather. Because this kind of thing tends to occur without our... Con... Uh, not concern. What's the word? Oh crap. It's con something crap. It's not concerned, I swear. Wait. <laughs> oh god. It's just without our approval. I think there's a word for that. The stuff is gone. And it's what I think it means. What, what I think it means, but yeah. Ooh. Hmm. 
this is quite a uh, choice actually very much a quite choice I'm gonna set up this cable a bit sorry oops okay okay um I don't know what holding uh, my mouse or what that particular choice and eventually release it is going to affect what I mean because I'm being dealt with everything else in this world but uh, I want to test it in one of these uh, answers after like what <laughs> 10 episodes Jesus mm. you know what I'll, I'll just this one yeah I have those doubts too okay apparently Holding the left click doesn't matter. You can't hold your dubs. You just have to f fly to it. Like you know, like I tend to do this kind of thing, like uh, holding the click, releasing the click. As soon as I'm fairly sure that it's the kind of uh, choice that I want to make, but no, it's not in this one of these uh, visual novels, I believe. <sighs> If I still worked for Rainer and I said these things, I'd be called a troublemaker, and he'd find a way to get rid of me. <laughs> you know how it works, Evelyn. You have to be a true believer to last long at a place like that. Once you develop doubts, you are committing heresies. Oh... Right. Are you a true believer? No, but I could pretend to be. He said something strange recently. He thinks Eliza could be the base for some kind of general artificial intelligence. Mm. No. Strong AI? Really? Ugh, there's something about the books these guys read, the conferences they go to. Everything is so totalizing, so utopian. I think it messes with their brains. I don't think you could spend longer than a few days in a tech company executive suite before you completely lose touch with the real world. Oh, yeah. I mean, do they even read news? Uh, and did what I just said even correlate to whatever it is? Conversation saying that is right now. I mean, jeez, I might be the one. I might be the one. Who gets completely discharged with the real world? I mean, who knows? I'm still working. I'm not taking sides. I'm. I prefer playing neutral. I think in this one. Yeah, I don't know what to think about that. Well, we could talk through it. <laughs> Say Rainer is right, huh? And Eliza becomes the basis for human-like machine intelligence. What does that mean for you? How do you want to take responsibility for that? Okay, I need a drink now. Hold your thought and let me make drinks. <laughs> you like absinthe, don't you? <laughs> No, not at all. Mmm, you'll like this. I promise. <laughs> Jeez, Nora. You better not disappoint me or something. Mm, 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 Nora pieces up mm, the kitchen area making drinks, humming some kind of tune. I love her. Now we get to see some of her room spot. And no messages coming in yet. If it is already at 10 p.m., like who would message, uh, who would message Evelyn at such late time? 
That's why she said it was a modular. Oh, modular. I suppose they call them modulars because they're made out of modules. Okay. <laughs> okay. Modular. Doesn't feel like I'm making much progress here. <laughs> Cat! Oh, kitty. Adorable. I wonder how you're supposed to know which sounds go together. It's some sort of the feeling thing, actually. Seems both complicated and weirdly arbitrary. Oh, gee, is that it? Yeah. Not much to be inspected up on. Just those. And uh, we're just gonna go back to more serious talks. Oh, never mind. Erlen's messaging. What was I saying? What was I saying? Thanks again for meeting with me earlier. Sorry for being weird. Remember, you don't need to apologize. He's still up. Right. Um, what do you think of Renner's future goals for Eliza? Like when he says if we get enough data, it could become a general intelligence. I'd say we'll be able to fool people at least. I'm not sure how you measure that for real though. I'm supposedly a subject matter expert in this stuff, AI was my concentration in school, so I know the current state of AI is a way behind where the public thinks we are. But when I listen to Rainer, I start to think what he says might be possible. It feels like reality can warp around him. Ooh. Who's to say? Maybe I don't have enough imagination to see like it like he can. Eliza does have extremely detailed data from thousands of clients, speech, facial movements, expressions, people's descriptions of what life is like for them. I don't think a corpus like this has ever existed before in human history. And we keep adding to it and it keeps getting better. So in the future, maybe Eliza can simulate a human being at a general level. Oh yeah. Like collecting all these data and they actually do record people's speech, facial movements, etc. But some for some reason they don't do that. I'm like giving that a good advantage uh, at the AI yet? Sorry, I kind of have to stop it that center, uh, at, at the middle of it there. It's just something that I'm thinking about. Eliza could have been better. Personally, Phil. But if people were to abuse it, then it's game over. But when programs indistinguishable from real people are common, how do you even define what's real anymore? You might never be sure a message came from a real human being again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't stop thinking about this. What if it comes true? What if Eliza becomes a sentient being? I'm not sure it's a real danger. Who knows what's possible in the future? It's not clear what you mean by those terms, though. <laughs> I mean, probably I can I can personally get the gist of it, but uh, to a more logical concept, it's kind of hard to explain properly. I think. How do you know that you yourself are sentient? Oh, can I get deep? Holy crap. <laughs> I don't know. That's a good question now that I think about it. I could say that I feel conscious if I knew what that meant. But what's to prevent me from saying I feel conscious even if I'm the o I'm only providing responses I think you want to hear? What if my consciousness is an illusion I experience? I have not considered this. <laughs> wow, this is blowing my mind a little bit. Sorry. Philosophers have discussed this. Yeah, I should read some, I know. Thanks for not mind minding chatting about this. I don't mind. You sure you don't have any technical questions? <laughs> uh, that's what Evelyn's been expecting for ages since uh, they met. This is more fun. <laughs> But you're right, I might be getting a little ahead of myself. Sorry for texting so much. Erland! Yeah, right, oops. Thanks for listening. You're welcome. <laughs> hey, hey, who's that texting you so much? <laughs> That's totally not my date, am I right? Yep, nope, nope, not at all. Has Evelyn found a special friend? Oh, Nora, you know you're teasing.
What would you say if I had? <laughs> oh, that tone, that tone, silly, silly Evelyn. Playful as hell. I love that. <laughs> uh, by the way, that's not what I'm intending to cry. I'd be happy for you. Oh, my God. So, so wholesome. It's this guy named Erland. I guess he's the new head of engineering for Eliza. Yep, they met. Long story. Huh, I never heard of him. He's new. No wonder you never heard of him. He must have started recently? Yeah, less than a year ago. Right out of school. Oh, wow. A little baby engineer. How cute. Nora's... Nora's accent is just making whatever she's saying just feels really unique to me. And this is why I just am really interested overall with people's accents. It's just, there's just some sort of uniqueness that I unfortunately can't pinpoint exactly one by one. Uh, even though I'm still learning how to English properly. Mm -mm. Excuse me. Ever since I met him, he's been messaging me a lot. My goodness, so he likes you. <laughs> I don't think it's like that. Yep. That's the first answer that uh, the game presented to me before I chose that. I didn't regret it at all. No? Isn't that the textbook case of liking someone? Lots of messages all the time? Also, it's ironic. I've been testing a lot with uh, this friend of mine in UK for 10 years and gosh we haven't called <laughs> uh, he mentioned that we could start uh, we could start calling if I I'm finishing certain projects that I've been kind of dying to work on it but just still haven't gotten the right passion or certain push through it for me to do it yet I don't know maybe I'm still like having some games for me to discover and such and I'm still enjoying my time doing it I really should consider on working on that uh. it's really more like he needs some kind of mentor figure yep he reminds me of how we were when we graduated unsure what to think about the decisions these companies make how they're made mm. I hope you're telling him to run away while he still can. <laughs> when he first introduced himself, he said he had questions for me about Eliza, so I said, sure, feel free to ask. I thought he meant, like, technical or architectural questions. Yep, just exactly what I said four minutes ago, I think. Instead, he wanted to talk more generally about things like... What was the code name for Eliza during development? What was Damien like? Oh, yeah. Or if I think the same way Rainer does about Eliza's future. Evelyn is surprisingly really open to this, too. Maybe it's because just we really haven't known what Evelyn actually looks like for just a couple of hours playing this game. And you told him, no, Rainer is clearly in some bizarro world, right? <laughs> she can't say that. Or I might quit immediately that it's a tech executive's utopian fantasy and it won't come to pass. At least not in the way he thinks. I tried to encourage him to think for himself. Ah, Evelyn. I can see what this is really about. Look, I don't know much about the motivation in your life, but if it's truly your desire to continue to improve Eliza, then you should go for it. Go back to Skanda headquarters and work for Raynor and earn a big salary. At least you know what you're getting into. Hmm. But her peers... Her peers despises Raynor and how what how he's been doing things with Eliza right now. So, 
I don't know, I'm just trying to like figure this out. Like it should have affected how Evelyn should continue or pursue with her future. We'll see though. You would be surrounded by smart people and advanced technology. Like seriously, didn't Nora just despise how she worked uh, with Rainer ages ago? Like literally 10 minutes ago or something. It would be nice. I understand it. But I think the reason why she says this is because Evelyn is her friend. And she's trying to be supportive with her. And she wouldn't mind if she works back at Skanda even to even to that some particular extent. It's just really respectable this uh, Nora is. And while you're in that position, maybe you could uh, develop some kind of next level AI. <laughs> Who knows, right? Mm. It's only that I can't imagine your technology will only be used for good things. That's true. Maybe Rainer promises that it will be. Do you trust him? What about the person who comes after him? Sorry. What if the company merges with another one and the leadership changes? Yeah. Imagine those kind of companies in Japan, I think. Who doesn't change ownership or some sort of like... Well, I mean, due to their... Uh, higher lifespan compared to other countries i think it's just yeah the new leaders around those kind of companies have to be having the same potential as the current leader is i think i i uh i'm sorry i i'm just thinking i'm just thinking i'm just speculating it might not be the case in all of japanese uh, companies but it may be the case as to why uh the next leader may still have the same uh, fate or uh, vision as their previous leader was. Yeah. I wish I didn't sound so negative about this, but lately it's been a soul searching time for me and my friends in tech. Soul searching, that's a really good one. We have a lot of conversations about what we can do when our work is so easily used for morally questionable purposes. Do we try to control how our inventions are applied? Is that even possible? Or do we say, we only invented it, we didn't tell you how to use it, it's not our fault. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. That would be so bad. Like, lack of uh, manual's clearlessness, if that's even the right English, but... <laughs> that's why I envy you a little bit for wandering off like you did. Sometimes I think that's the only real solution to walk away. Oh, jeez. I know that wasn't exactly a positive thing for you, Evelyn, but I wonder if it's the better choice in the end. Doing nothing at all. <sighs> Technically, I worked at a bookstore for part of the time. That's mostly it, though. Hello. It's weird. It feels like no time at all. I can hardly remember any of it. For me, it's hard to imagine. I always have to be working and, and busy. I get so unhappy and restless if I'm not doing something all the time. Energic type. That's her. What is it like to do nothing? I would have to ask my brother about it. Quite something that. Well, at first I tried to be productive. I'm gonna start to relate with my brother in this one because uh, it's a personal thing. I would get up in the morning like I meant to go to work, get dressed, try to do a personal project or something. It didn't last for long.
Wait. I told myself I just needed to take it easy for a while and unwind. Things at Skanda had been so intense and so emotional, I didn't even realize it. Now I'm trying to see myself in this statement. Recently a friend asked me... Like... Do you look so intense every day when you work at the place you're in? And I mentioned something like, yeah, I probably am. And he, he did try to pry uh, about the reason and such, but then he got sidetracked, sidetracked because it was an after-work session. And instead, he talked with uh, other friends that had better time. That question still actually got me in my current head right now. I swear, clearly played this game and uh, such, but I'm still soul searching about that I felt like I'd been crumpled up into a tight little ball I wasn't sure I'd ever be able to relax again oh Evelyn I wish I could say I took advantage of the time that I went out and did things or that I read a lot of books or something Okay, this is back to my brother. But I didn't. I started to sleep in, and I started to care less and less about working on projects. Mm. I would stay in bed even though I was awake. This blankness would come over me, and it just seemed fine to do nothing. All of the things I'd promised I'd do fell away, and other people kind of fell away too. I stopped keeping in touch. I let conversations die. I thought that my technical contributions to the world were over with and that maybe I'd just work that bookstore job for the rest of my life. I was by myself and I thought that was all right. I thought that's how it is, really. Everyone's alone. I'm just being honest about it. I was 31 when I left Soren's group. Now I'm 34. just slept into my mid-thirties. So, now here I am. Oh my Seven years older than me. And it sort of scares me that I just hope that I'm not gonna be ending my path the same way as he she is right now. Holy crap, she's just a fictional character. Get yourself over it, damn it. <laughs> but oh 
to think about what my brother is currently dealing with and I can help but just to think how's the future like but I never I never really bothered to think about that kind of stuff it's just like my mother says our family moves in autopilot it just never really thinks about this kind of stuff man like it's planning it's planning things in the future like would make you better as a person maybe it is but maybe I just really haven't done it maybe I just really haven't committed to it as much as uh oh god where where, where, where did I go with that kind of thought I I I I let myself I let my own thought uh, sinking in into my own reality when she starts speaking. I'm talking about Evelyn, yeah. <laughs> and after the scene changes and such. <sighs> oh my god! <laughs> Crap! I hate it. <laughs> but I'm also thankful at the same time because this is kind of keeps to make you likely understand a lot more compared to what people uh, experience uh, or yeah uh, mm -hmm. how do I say it how do I say it <laughs> there's a lot of contributions that these games have made to make me realize what I feel how I emote to things as of reasons, something like that. <laughs> Rumu and Eliza has brought it so far, and it's still not the end of the game. <laughs> so, like, what the hell? So, Evelyn works, worked at bookstore during her burnout phase when she ended up leaving from Eliza. And Nora looks up to her as she thinks that it's the correct way to uh, not correct ways like something that she should have done as well something like that but she has her own fame to deal with that's what I'm thinking <laughs> I think so far she's enjoying it and Evelyn still has a lot of soul searching that she has to do too so god let's continue well Nora thinks about all this stuff Nora reaches out and puts her hand on top of mine. Evelyn, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for not saying something this whole time. I should have contacted you. Oh, Nora. It's alright. You had to live your own life, right? <laughs> oh, Jesus. You notice someone isn't posting, and it's just like, maybe they're taking a break. Oh no, it's kind of like me. I, I'm not even active at Instagram. I, I do wonder what people think about it. But at, uh, although, at least now, I've, I'm starting myself to post more stories. Uh, that I think my co-workers do notice me about. And uh, yeah, I'm still alive. I still laugh a bit. I'm still alive. I would say some. I would say that kind of word with C, but no, I, I'm not that kind of person now. I understand. Well, I hope you feel better now. Hey. I suppose that sometimes it takes a while. Also, listen. Okay, no, no. I, I, I may, I may conclude later soon. Hold on, hold on. Maybe. I don't know what to think anymore. I'm not even sure I know how to think anymore. Then forget it for now. Hey, Evelyn. Mm. Is that your drink? Yeah. <laughs> the way Evelyn says yeah actually kind of killed me for some reason. You want to get super high and watch cyber goth music videos? I... Uh -huh. You heard me. No, Nora, no. Don't be like Soren, you silly goose. We've had 
dealt with Sora in a way. No, we have to deal with Nora. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sorry, she's getting corn. <laughs> I'll take you on the first, but not the second. I'll take you up on the first, but not the second. That works for me. Ah, oh, that's right. I was gonna get a patch set up. No, I ended up demonstrating difference in the sizes for me. I had no idea there were no, so many kinds and it was fun to learn about. Maybe I got overstimulated. I couldn't sleep that night. Questions without answers kept running through my mind. What am I supposed to do? Oof. Who am I supposed to be? Oh yeah, it is indeed chapter 5, baby. Yeah, uh, hold on. I'm gonna stop with the right there. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, this has been tracked for actually an hour. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> this episode has been rather emotional for me. But I'm kinda hoping that I may get more emotional later at the conclusion of this game. <laughs> just had it there man yeah sorry for pausing so much in this episode uh, I hope you all have a good day and I actually don't know what kind of advice that I would give but since I don't know I don't even better know uh, know myself better but do take care enjoy something that you can enjoy uh, I mean, as much as you can. Something like that. Good luck.